All right, guys, this is funny. So I'm sitting in, uh, well, I'm not sitting, I'm kind of standing, but I'm in the supermarket ready to buy my ingredients that I need for the next video. And I'm thinking, what am I gonna make next? And I start thinking about, we're down to like the 20s and the 30s at night, uh, 40s and 50s during the day. It's getting cooler and colder. And I'm like, wow, I could go for some hot cocoa right now. So I'm thinking that'd be neat to surprise Tammy with a sugar-free or a keto hot cocoa. I should make that, right? That'd be awesome. So anyway, I'm looking at some recipes and figuring out how I'm going to make this. And I see one recipe online and it says, it says buy this, buy this, buy this. The last ingredient, it says a pa one packet of sugar-free hot cocoa. Uh, I, if I'm going to buy it, I might as well just drink that. I was totally blown away. I'm like, why well, would you write this recipe? I don't get it. There was so many other things involved. It didn't need to be. All I got to do is add water or milk to the hot cocoa mix, the sugar-free hot cocoa mix, and I've got sugar-free hot cocoa. So we're going to uh, recreate it. Come on in close. I'll show you these ingredients, and we're going to make our own version of sugar-free hot cocoa. Okay guys, so you'll hear a little bit of humming and ticking in the background. That's my washer and dryer doing its work and God help me if I stop that, Tammy will kill me. All right, so get a pan and no flame yet. Get a pan, we're gonna put two ingredients in real quick. Take your cocoa mix, dump that in. All right. And your sweetener, dump that in. Kind of looks like that. And go ahead and mix that together. Just blend it all together. Pick up any clumps you might have before you get started. There we go. Okay, one of the, here we go. One of the rules is we can turn the heat on low, okay? Keep it on lo low for right now, kind of a low medium. You're gonna put a little bit of time in of the heavy whipping cream. There we go. Make sure you get that all whisked in before you go to the next bit of heavy whipping cream. There we go. Pour the next bit in. All right. Now the key is not to let this boil. I don't know why. That's what the instructions say. And I listen to my instructions. So try not to get this to boil. Okay guys, there it is, right there. That is sugar-free hot cocoa, and I bet it's gonna be great. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells just like it. All right, let's try it out. A holiday favorite right here. Let's give it a sip. Needs a little bit of sweetener. Hang on a second. Not sweet enough yet, hold on. A holiday favorite right here. Let's give it a sip. Needs a little bit of sweetener. Hang on a second. Not sweet enough yet. Hold on. All right, the flavor's there, but the sweetness isn't, okay? So I just grabbed my little bottle of uh, Splenda Monk Fruit, 
and it's liquid version. I use the powder version for the recipe, but I'm just gonna put a just a right there. Whoop, right there. All right, little squirt. Because I eyeballed the monk fruit and I probably should have measured it all out. Thought it might have been short, maybe half a teaspoon. Okay, that, that tastes good. All right, that's it. That's it. Make sure you measure out, because like the recipe I used asked for stevia. I used monk fruit. So make sure you use the right amount. If it's not sweet enough, when you taste it, then sweeten it up. Just put a little bit extra in there. Basically, just measure out your sweetener. I got lazy. Once again, Lazy Man here, making sugar-free hot cocoa, and happy holidays.